I'm gonna throw a mark. Here we go. Here we go. You did it again for me, dude. You fuck. fell for it again. Fuck. All he right. tries to clap to fuck up my clap, but I just get him to clap, so now he's my assistant. This is really know? weird. I, I feel like... Oh, no. Is this not on? Hello? You're on. Yeah. You're on. This feels like I'm sitting in between my older cousins that I'm not supposed to. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right, Squirrel. We'll like, take care of Hell yeah. I feel like you guys are going to give We're me going like, to take away your sweetness. <laughs> We're going to get him high and then make him grind. Dude, I was, I was talking to someone, and they... Uh, <laughs> They go because of how we posted the flyer online. They're like, "Hey, can I um can I just show up at seven and sign up for the podcast?" Like they no, but here's here's the thing though. They no. think they think the open like uh like the podcast is an open mic, which I'm not opposed to. Oh, if like, we start like, like a kill Tony thing, and we would like talk to him afterwards. We're like kill hey, Tony, but we don't have them do stand up. We just have them do three minutes on the podcast. Oh, and just be like, we're just you interview for three minutes. A terrible guest. You you have <laughs> You're nothing also to a say. Bad comedian. Yeah, yeah. And then we talk shit about that. That's so funny. But uh, wow. guys, this is the Jerks Podcast. I'm your host Markarski with my co-host AJ Lydig and Dan McCarty. We have uh, David. What's your last name? Donick. God, God so. damn it! I had it right before I started this. Start sentence. over. David Donick, everybody. Gang gang. David yeah. Donick. Are we opposed to an open mic podcast in the future? I think, David, I mean, as the guest, give us your thoughts on this. Uh, honestly. Thank, you for my, thank you for throwing it to me. Hey, shut up. I'm talking. Um, I think, uh, <laughs> You've never been here uh, before. Shut the fuck up, yeah. live audience at the bar. Um, I would say that an open mic podcast probably, I think it's a good idea in theory. Uh, I think there's, you got to build some serious structure to it, though. You know what I mean? I think that's not enough time for people. Three minutes. It'd be, it'd be like, what's your name? How long have you been doing comedy? All right, see you later. That's been three. well, and that's where the that's where the kill Tony kind of like has that balance. You know what I mean? I mean, don't get me wrong; they're also paid. Um, right, that is uh, huge. That's big. And why would you do that for free to a bunch of weird suburb comedians who are not going to go I just, viral? Here's my thing: what if we don't need to make it go viral? We just like we yeah, well, we've been anyone we got, that's we've in the bar. Views. We've got anyone that's in the like bar. 100? Like, let's say there's like no, a we've got we've been on bar, uh, bar stool. Oh, really? Yeah, we were on oh. bar stool, which was cool. Which one? Bar stool Marquette. Ah, okay. That's still something, dude. Which was still something. Oh, that's cool. It would be cool if we did like, okay, so let's say there's like, like today, there's two comics that are here <laughs> in the audience, right? Yeah. Let's imagine David's not here for whatever reason. They're right? trying. So yeah. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, it's like, okay, there's two people here. Oh, yeah, oh, who wants to be in the pot today? And then like, if someone wants to come on, hang on for 10 minutes or whatever, and we toss them out and we keep going. Yeah, but there's so many people I'd rather them just not be on it. Hey, dude, and on God, not to like shame or anything, but like <laughs> talent blows sometimes, you know? Yeah. That is fair. <laughs> Most people in this scene do blow. Like, I mean, sometimes talent do not be measuring up, you know? So, you kind of look like Trevor Wallace. I think, well, you do, actually. Oh, God, my God. Say another I white like guy, dude. Right now. I, get so, I get everything. Okay, no, at least. No, <laughs> Harrison no, no. Ford. Dude, I get called everything by my <laughs> students. Ford. Do you know what a kid did to me the other day, dude? I swear uh. to God, a kid just walked up to me and I was like, hey, man, get to class. And he goes, shut the fuck with. with which show, you don't know your beautiful looking ass. And then just <laughs> <laughs> kept it moving. And I was like, you with that one direction. And I was like, how did you That's sing not that? one direction. <laughs> I don't know who it is. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, and sons? Uh, no, dude, it's the fucking Jonas <laughs> Brothers. Yeah. Uh, you said, you said, how are they not One Direction? You said, on God. you said on God before that sentence, like it's as if it's like a normal part of verna your vernacular, but it stood out quite a bit. Did, were you saying this before you taught at the school you teach at? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Do you say it to your students sometimes? Of course, like, yeah. he has to talk like them. On God, what's uh, X? Wait, <laughs> I just know? looked it up. Dan is right. It is One Direction. Oh! It is One Direction? Oh, oh one direction. Shit. Yeah, That's what I'm talking he's pretending about. pretending like he was guessing. Guys, this is, this is, this is why I'm a homo. This is why. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, this like, is I, why. Yeah, this dude, is why I'm gay. A homo it's... sapien. Nah. We saved you. Yeah, dude. We're all homos. No one's getting canceled tonight. No homo. We all did just take gay shots. It was Skittles, dude. But you just, call them gay shots. They're just, just called AJ's Skittle shots. Oh. It was, or, did, well, well, what did you guys? There was the back shots from yeah. earlier. That was. Uh, hey yo. Mom, I want to go home. <laughs> Get it? Because like doggy you stop. Did you understand that? That's a funny joke. That's yeah. That's gross. <laughs> right over my head. Yeah. How long have you been doing comedy now? Uh, I've been doing comedy since uh, 2019. Um, I moved up to the city um, around then. I just uh, graduated from college. I didn't quite graduate yet. I had to do my student teaching, but I was doing it in the in the city. Did you go to ISU? Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. So did I, dude. Really? Dang. Yeah. Yeah, dude. That's awesome. I, I dropped out. Yeah, uh, it checks out. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Which is, I told them this before the podcast. So you thought I was kidding about me saying I went to ISU? I totally was. I thought you were. Because because were you wait? Were you guys? You guys would have been there at the same time then for a little, Probably were. little when bit. Probably. When did you right? start? Yeah. Uh, I graduated in 2013, so probably just what I, you start in 2013, right? No, dude, I started in 2015. So that was my 2015 was my freshman year of college. <laughs> when did you graduate high school? Uh, 2015. Oh yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. okay. So I was there. I, I mean, graduated. we were there at the same time. For, for sure. real? 
Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. Mm. Wait, so you got there in 2015? Yeah, yeah. So what, where'd you stay at for your? I stayed in uh, Manchester. Manchester. Oh, nice. You stayed in Hewitt, dude. Hell yeah, yeah, dude. It was so much fun. So if you guys have you guys ever been? Down I've been. Uh, I got COVID at ISU. Actually. You visited for yes. real? That's I visited ISU in shit. the middle of the pandemic That's and went like, why? and I got COVID. Wait, were they still partying? So it was like one of those things where it was like I had been trapped in the house. I had like been being good in quarantine, and then one of my buddies was like, "Hey, dude." You want to come visit ISU? I know you've been locked in the house. And I went down, and like the first frat party we go to, he's like, it's going to be like 10, 15 people. It's what's, like what's 200. Frat? I don't know. I don't even know. I was drunk. But we walk in, and I'm like, oh, we're, like, we're getting COVID. Yeah. And then I got the f- the three guys I was with, I got the text in the group chat the next morning where it was like positive, positive, positive. It was like, oh, fuck, dude. I got to go get tested. And That's then nice. they took their COVID test. <laughs> ah! <laughs> yeah, say, at least you got COVID instead of sexually assaulted, dude. Did you get sexually? No, but that's just one that's in four women. Dropped out. Yeah, one dude. in four women yeah. at ISU. Yeah, I didn't want to get caught. One um, in four dude, at ISU. Four women, dude, yeah. they kicked off. There's no fraternity um, at Illinois State's campus that is like on the main campus. All yeah. of them have been what kicked off in some way, shape, or form due to like some sort of like probation. Well, or we used something. to have like, one called Pike Spike. Oh yeah. They okay. Are gone. I want to see if you can guess the one that I because it was a it was a big blue house with like a brown roof. Acacia. What's it? Acacia. Absolutely. That was like that's Acacia. Wait, is Blue it? House? Okay, yeah. I don't know. Blue House yeah. by the library? No, I, no, no. It's past no. the library. It's uh it's uh it's like west of the campus. Basically. It was like, you know, like the quad area. Yep. We walked oh, okay. out of that for like a good like 20, 20 minutes, probably. Probably, yes. Yeah, dude, that's mm. Acacia. Uh I loved is it. it like where's the pass? Like what's the closest like Oh uh, god. It, well, it's in the residential part of it, you know what I mean? So it's like okay, if you you, like know, if you go past like um it's not it's the opposite direction of uptown. So like if you're on the quad and you just walk towards uptown like where DPDO is, it, you're oh. walking the opposite direction oh, okay, to go okay, okay. to This get is to such Acacia. a niche conversation. Say, yeah, yeah, like so people confused. who are like, I know what you're talking <laughs> yeah. about. Hey man, actually I mean, a lot of people went to Illinois State and I bet we're going to get some comments say, about dude, it. Like, there are a lot of ISU people actually. Well, the reason I brought it up too is because there's a lot of teachers that went to ISU. Like you you being a teacher at ISU that checks out. I have a friend who was a teacher who went to ISU. A lot of nurses as well. There's a lot of nurses business there. Well, cuz Illinois State was originally like literally Built it was called a normal school, which is like what they would call elementary schools in the nineteen like tens. Oh. So whenever the university was built, it was like only women because that was Lincoln the occupation. Have something to do with the school? Yeah. So Abe Lincoln, what it was like one of the first locations for like the Stephen Lincoln, the Stephen Douglas L- Lincoln Douglas debates. That's what it was. Um, when, oh. he, when t- Lincoln was like, "Slaves not that great. Slavery's not that great," and Stephen Douglas was like, "I don't know. Like it's He's neat. Like, free labor's <laughs> pretty great. Yeah. Right. Like listen, listen, both." Sides of the story here, okay? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mm. Stephen Douglas was. <laughs> <laughs> Stephen Douglas, Stephen Douglas was standing there like, uh, I'm sorry, I got racks on racks on racks, Lincoln. Like, mm. Sorry, you're um, poor. Here's my, here's my cool ISU story. My brother went to ISU, and <laughs> I once... Uh, <laughs> That's the end of the story. <laughs> I, I bricked my car going down to drop him off, so I trashed my engine. It oh. needed an oil change. I was, I was like, like, your like, car got an oil erection? Change. You bricked your at car? ISU. <laughs> your car got bricked up? Oh, I was driving, and all of a sudden it just stopped. Like, the wheeling stopped, and then the... It was just, and I just, I coasted to an exit and down and into a gas station. And then a tow truck came and he was like, it's going to be like $3,000. I was like, that's more than I pay for this car, man. I'm just going to let you keep it. Just cut your losses at that point. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It's just like, actually that adds up. Scrap it. Yeah. My car broke down in, on Michigan Avenue in Chicago and it was like almost 400 to tow it. Yeah. You're just like, ah, it's not worth it. Yeah. I'm I'm just just not going to pick it up. Just gonna call Which is such dad. a funny thing to hear as a tow truck driver to be like, I'm not taking my car back. You yeah, can, I think it's, yours, like, it's actually yours now. You can take it. No, they're he kind of actually, hyped. Dude. He's probably like, fuck yes. He goes, he goes, well, I've already ordered the engine, so he goes, I'll pay. <laughs> he goes, I'll give you. So what he did was he gave me like 350 bucks for it on top of wiping the tow truck fees, mm-hmm. and then uh, they wiped the whole three thousand dollar fee. Well, no, so it would have been three grand for a new engine. Yeah. Wait. Uh, well, oh, so so I said, you just wait. So this, no, the this tow guy was just like, like ordered an bucks engine, or whatever. So he ordered an engine, like and then on he's a like, whim, without asking you. He, he ordered the engine. Was like, hey, it's going to be like three thousand to get it fixed. This is the guy like, repairing the car. That. Yeah. Yeah. And then, I get uh, what he's saying. Okay, he did okay, call me. Okay. He called me like three months later though, and he was like, hey, I, I'm the guy who fucking had your car. He's like, I just want to let you know, I got the engine in. My nephew's driving it, so she's back on the road. Yeah. Dude. I was like, that's cool. I'm that's glad such she's a out that's there. such a sweet little like uh, side quest for that guy. Yeah. 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 Like, uh, a what a wholesome Manuel story. Kia, mm. Kia, uh, Kia Spectra. I love that. Oh three Kia Spectra. Oh, dude. Okay, so that reminds me. That's so funny. Um. 
Because, like, that dude, like, three months went by, and he, like, finally was like, oh, I should reach out to you, right? So uh, one of my best buds was from college was in town, like, two weekends ago, right? And there was one night where uh, he and I were just, like, posted up uh, in my apartment, chilling. We, like, we, we weren't really doing much, right? We were just kind of, like, hanging out. And I was, like, on my phone just going through my contacts. And I was like, dude, we should play a game. And he was like, what? And I was like, I have, like, a thousand random contacts in my phone that are just, like, blank name and then, like, Hewitt 16 or, like, <laughs> Manchester, like, we random guys, like, people I met in game. college. Let's see which one we could fuck. No. Uh, uh, <laughs> I called this woman. Why do you always got to go there, yeah, dude? Well, why, why else is he going to hit? Why is well, he being see. such a sussy baka, dude? Let's see. Because it's such a sussy wait, wait, baka? You, you just made what I said cool. What did I you know. just say? <laughs> sussy <laughs> You made what I said. Okay. Uh, all the all the Gen Zs on the internet who play Minecraft will destroy you. Uh, Dude, I want to watch him and Colin Glowinky start a fraternity together. <laughs> I just want to see them talk. They you know like what I mean? One. They just do the that conversation. Dragon Ball Z thing. Yeah. Dragon Ball Z. So we anyway, I'm going through my thing, and I was like, dude, let me just call this random phone number, right? That I have like saved in my contact as like a first name, right? So and it was I was a girl. Dude, it was a woman. I called her. Um, and I, she, I was like, Hey, is this so-and-so? And she was like, yeah. And I was like, Hey, my name's David Donick. Uh, I just have your phone number like saved in my phone as like a first name. And like this, I was like, did you go to ISU by chance? And she was like, yeah. And I was like, Oh my God. She didn't go. That's a stupid fucking question. <laughs> no, no, no. Dude, she was so chill. It was so nice. So like we like eventually figure out and I was like, oh my God, you were there the first night I ever got my dr first drinking ticket in college, which I wasn't even drinking, dude. I like was hanging out with people who were. The oh. cops kicked the door in and they were like, dude, you're here. You must have been drinking. I had to go to a speech tournament the next morning. So I was being like a nerd <laughs> and like trying yeah. to go to bed early. Gave me a drinking ticket and she was there that night. And I was like, oh my God, that's crazy. And I was like, dude, what are you up to now? And she was like, well, I'm nursing my one year old. And I was like, ah! And then, and then <laughs> you stopped talking to her. I was like, that's cool. <laughs> She's like, my husband's in the military. And I was like, ah, oh, okay. why'd you stop talking to her after you heard, you learned you that information? Kid, yeah. Maybe because huh? she had a one-year-old on herself. Why so. would that Did you think, you was wanted... there a chance it was yours? No. No, if you just wanted to, <laughs> no, if you didn't want to fuck her and just wanted to be friends with her, what's wrong with her having a kid sucking on her tit right uh, now, not, you know? not enough time to pay attention to me, honestly, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Right, as no. a friend. You can yeah. fuck He's with the kid in the room. He's a very demanding friend. He's very demanding. Good, good question. Good question. If the kid is not yours, can you fuck with it in the room? Yes. Yeah, it's like a dog. Like you just agreed. Give it a toy agreed. In the Thank God. Yeah, they go in a cage. Yeah. 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 Put a blanket over it. Mm -hmm. Fucking, you're fine. You're telling yeah. me he fucking, I don't condone anything he looked on this up podcast. Women's names to not have sex with them. Come on. Yeah, dude. Every <laughs> once in a while, you put you a little. Up a guy. Hey, buddy. Remember me? His <laughs> name was Trevor. Well, that was the. I, it's also, like I, text, I called Trevor, and it's, it was a hot chick. It's just funny. Uh, shut up. <laughs> I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> the story's over. Oh yeah. <laughs> but no, yeah, it was really. And then it, I was like, because I have a thousand numbers saved like that. That's just You're like a first. I got a drinking ticket at ISU, and I paid for it with Visa gift cards. Because every time that's I would go, such a white trash story. Because every time I went grocery shopping, my parents would pay for groceries, mm -hmm. and I would put a fifty dollar Visa gift card on the bill, and I would save them just in case I got a drinking ticket. And I was like, I really hope they take these. Why did and you not have your own card? The courthouse took the the Visa gift card. No, yes. you you pay. Th well, you pay, you you pay, pay online. Person. Yeah, you pay. Yeah. Well, it's not, it doesn't go on your record. It's not like an actual legal drinking ticket. Right, no, because right. all of the it's like a only, parking ticket. Because I was on probation oh, yeah. yes. when I got mine, and they were. I would have been in a lot of trouble, but they're like, this is not a legal thing. It's a money thing. I was like, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's how they pay for like the beautiful campus that they have at Illinois State. Yeah. Like they told us, dude, they told me on my <laughs> campus. God, you make visit, me want to graduate there. Dude, 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 they told me on my freshman year campus visit, they were like, just so you know, like Illinois State PD pulls in fifty thousand dollars a year in drinking tickets for this beautiful quad and arboretum. And I was oh, like, yeah, they like do. that's a whole student. Dude, they write a rhyme. Yeah, <laughs> dude. That's they a whole student tuition. I was like, that's shit, basically yeah. my salary as a teacher. Holy shit. I know. We like to have fun here, though. So, <laughs> mm -hmm. you know. Well, that's uh, that's fun. Cool. Yeah, dude. Good ISU. times. Illinois yeah. State Red Birdies. That's their mascot. Red Did Birds. You, you weren't in a frat, right? Or were you? No, I. Uh, so I was on the speech and debate team when I was there. I went to. I did speech and debate when I was um, in high school. Did you guys ever were, like like we're kind of like a frat guys? Were you? Yeah, uh, no. you, guys you uh, no. We were like. We did were you guys like haze people fraternity. at all? What? Were you a you master debater? People? Uh, I was a master debater. Um, uh, I just wiped it off on your shirt. I did. Uh, the knowledge. Um, <laughs> I, they're gonna look into that. He's like, uh, he's yeah. like those shots. You know, we were like a we were like an academic fraternity. You know what I mean? Like we did. Like we 
kind of partied a lot. Not a lot, but like we also like was a work hard, play hard type thing. Like yeah. I mean, instead of like roofing chicks, you educated them. Oh my god. <laughs> I, was a, I was in a co ed fraternity. No, I became a feminist king my freshman year of college. Um, I can see that. I, yeah. Everyone yelled What's at like? me to stop saying the word bitch in conversations, and I was like, oh, okay. when they do that to me. All my comments on YouTube are like, why? Not all of them. There's a couple of dumb bitches who are like, you can't call all women bitches. I'm like, well, yes, I can. Actually, you can't. I learned it. Up, yeah. I learned it from NWA. No, just even grade. the way that you said it, I'm like, it sounds bad, dude. No, because it is. Because it's you're not. You gotta say it like in italics. Like you say it in bold right now, and it's not cool. Bitches. You know. Mm. See, like he yeah, there, underlined there, there it right was there. a little bit of harshness because I was <laughs> mad at this one bitch for commenting. I just that. call them cunts. Wow. <laughs> there you go. There you <laughs> go. I just call them coozies. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, why did you say that in Times New Roman? <laughs> <laughs> like that. It sounded fancy, dude. It was like a 16 font. Say it in wing days, dude. Oh <laughs> Eyeball tower, <laughs> <laughs> airplane explosions. What the fuck? <laughs> um, but the speech team was like, uh, uh, it was an academic fraternity. Like we would, so our weekends were wild, right? Like Thursday or Friday, depending on how far away the tournament was. We would like drive to another university in like a bus, and then like com- wake up at six a.m. on a Saturday morning, compete all day, and then do it all again on Sunday, and then drive back to the university. That is a wild. It weekend. was a lot, and I mean, it was cool. Like I got, I, I think on. Like high key part of the like reason I have, I'm very confident in myself um, on stage now is yeah, because ask if that has like absolutely I did it for so long like competing in a setting where like I was in a round with six other people literally trying to be the funniest person in the room right or smartest person right. in Were the room. Were there a lot of hot tricks on the speech? Uh, niche? Uh, That's a no. Hold on, hold on. Were there a lot of hot bitches on the speech? Hell <laughs> oh, yeah. I asked, hell yeah. I asked it wrong. You're right. Hell yeah. A lot of hot hoes. Sure. I think there were a lot of intellectual women uh, who did their best. So, so a lot of hot um, women if they took their glasses actually, off. Actually, there, there, <laughs> there was this thing. If they covered their yeah. face. I'm sure you guys have seen this before or like experienced it. There's, there's this thing that we had called speech hot where like when you watch someone perform, they immediately became, and like it's they were a like, good she's performer. Such a good yeah. We were like, oh, yeah. We were like, oh my God, like they're so much hotter now that like they are talented. But then like outside of like a like, weird performance she's a setting, dog, you're right, like, ah, yeah. oh, you're okay. She's She's a dog. <laughs> that happened to me when I was watching some old judge on TV. It was like an old black judge. But the way she was talking was so like powerful and smart. I was like, I want to fuck this chick. Yeah. This is yeah. Hot. There were dude, there were some people on the spe- on the circuit where I was like, you know, I think they're like kind of cute. And then I watched them like give a speech and I was like, I'm in love with you. <laughs> That's how I feel about Lori Lightfoot. Powerful yeah, women are hot, man. Yeah, I mean, it was crazy. Dudes, too. There was, like, I'm not even into dudes. Pause. But, uh, <laughs> resume. They were like. AJ's like, what? <laughs> yeah. You're not into dude. Why are you on the podcast, dude? Because uh, I, like, I hanging out. I don't know. <laughs> like Actually, I, I, I developed a really good sense of uh, tie, like, necktie style when I was in college. Bar, are you out. just drinking a seltzer right now? Did you just yes. call him Mark? <laughs> it's a. You just poured a regular seltzer water into a glass. Polar seltzer. Yeah, it's uh, but we're in the vanilla. Midwest. I don't There's know. orange vanilla. No alcohol in there. Well, no, I didn't want to get up and get a beer, so I just filled oh. it with seltzer. It's bubbly though. Second gayest thing that's been said on this podcast. <laughs> what was the first? Kai asking if he could swear. This is gayer than that. <laughs> this is number one. What well, he just I'll swear did by the seltzer water. It's delicious. <laughs> now it's, <yeah. laughs> it's a little orange sherbet, man. I do forget. Kai Kai Harrell came on this podcast. <laughs> oh yeah, asked sherbet? if he could swear. And then, like twenty minutes in, he was like, "Kids are kind of hot, huh?" And <laughs> <laughs> just the die cut. We went so quickly. Well, the I'm, not, I'm not was cursing, great. right? Yeah. I'm not saying they're Kai. fucking hot. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, yeah. Dude, I, I, I did. Uh, I did Kai's show, and he was like, "Hey, man, can you record my set? I just got to talk about some stuff." And I was like, "Yeah, dude." He did no jokes for like twenty minutes. That's all he does. <laughs> and then, yes. And then it was just like him, like venting about life, and he was like, "These bitches." <laughs> man, I hate That's when guys a good guy. Own pressure, actually. And then, and then he gets a laugh, and he goes, "Mm-hmm, mm-hmm." Yeah. He bounces a lot <laughs> for a black dude. He's such a bouncer. Usually guy. that's like a like a white dude kind of swagger thing. That he bounces a lot for a black dude. I, I think I think the opposite actually. I think a lot of white guys are super super rigid and like they, that's fair. They're, they're yeah. more not not even in like how they stand. You know what I love, dude. Dude, I'll do it right now. I see every single white guy ever do this. They're like talking and they do a joke and they go. 
Uh, <laughs> that's it. That's that's funny, right? Okay. There's a the couple whole... of people who popped in my mind. Actually, I think you do that. Do you do that? I'll do it occasionally. Dude, I, I don't know. I hate it because, like, I, I mean, once in a while, if I'm, like, really nervous mm-hmm. and I notice I'm mm-hmm. nervous, I'll hold the mic with two hands. But, like, 99% of the time when I'm on stage, it's, like, me one-handing it, trying to, like, paint a picture. Yeah, like you're actually you, talking. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Then, like, to see dudes who are just, like, so comfortable with, like, only doing this, I'm like, you know, you do you, no hate, but I'm like, couldn't be me, you know? Mm. I say, I always notice my hat. Habits in other people. One of the ones that I've noticed I do a lot Probably is the, kissing uh, guys, right? The, uh, yeah. Well, I mean, I wouldn't call that I'm a just habit. trying to get out of the bed. A, way. You, you need a partner for that one. Yeah. But a, a More lot of, of a passion. A lot of this. I got a lot of wiggly on me, like, hey, I got a fucking wiggly on A lot of waka waka going on. A lot of waka waka. Waka waka. There you go. I, I do. I, I wish I was as talented as Fozzie Bear. What I do is. But, I haven't seen anybody do it, but like what I do is I just I put my hand behind my back a lot. I'll just talk with one. Bro, mic. like a lot of people so, do that. That's I, not a you thing. So, really? I think you yes. sat down for like the first six months. Yeah, you're like, all right, yeah. I'm just stand up. Yeah. Six. yeah, you're Dude, very much a, a David G. Who else puts their hand behind? I don't think I've seen that. It's a lot. It's I, don't, like a, it's I also a, don't watch people do stand up. Really big shoe. Donna, uh, Donovan on Monday being like, I'm gonna do a hack thing and sit down. <laughs> he did. He did. And then so he sat funny. down and he did. And he was like, This is pretty good. And then it was a hack. Pretty good. It was a hack. I don't mind sitting down, but my thing is in like a three minute open mic set it's like what are you doing we're not we're not getting into some deep dark story here there's yeah. nothing That's like nothing's getting super stage. Personal. yes like yeah. you got a four minutes you're not even gonna have right. time to take a sip yeah yeah i don't know why i stopped sitting That's I, actually I, just so, like, I guess i just so like standing more. you just grew out of it i don't know i think i i also liked it because somebody told me they didn't like it so i'm like well i'm gonna keep doing it. ah mm. yeah yeah it, it does kind of limit you though it limits your stage presence it does probably I think it depends on what kind of presence you're going for. Because when you sit down, it draws people inward. But you when can you put stand the stool up on your head, make people listen. <laughs> hey, like, Dan, with this guy. Hey, from the bottom of my know. heart, he's about, to, he's about to give me a, a pink slip. <laughs> from the bottom of my heart, shut the <laughs> fuck like, up, dude. <laughs> Dan has put a stool on his head before. That is. Yeah, I've put stool in my head. Yeah, yeah, stool on my head. Wow, dude. Like poop. Yeah, like poop. That's, 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 that's where like, I was mm-hmm. going. Stool. Yeah, I did once get shat on by a bunch of pigeons. Uh, so, I've actually never. So how many on. pigeons so, equals a bunch? Well, like so, like I was walking down, six, and you know, in six. Chicago, like, like it was one, it was my cousin. All right, <laughs> <laughs> they'll have the, uh, they have like these like concrete islands or whatever. So I'm walking across, and uh, like like thirty pigeons, they get up at the same time and they just start flying. That's mm-hmm. a cackle, and you just hear like whoosh, whoosh, and I was like, oh shit, and you start hearing it sounds like rain, and so they get over me, and it's just like purge shit city, like. I got shit on by a bunch of them. Do you know how much bad luck that is? I heard it was just good luck. Out? You know what they say? They're like, it's good luck if a bird shits Wait, on really? you. I thought yeah, because oh, okay. yeah, they make you feel better about that shit. I just couldn't help but bird. Like, clearly, it's bad luck if you get shit on by a bird. Like, that's the bad luck. Bird, bird shit city sounds yeah. like the next like Lego release. <laughs> shit city bitch. Bird shit city bitch. <laughs> <laughs> like, in this city, thousands of birds have shit on <laughs> random Lego citizens. I can't get into my car. <laughs> <laughs> You would play a good Lego character. I would yes. be a great Lego character. You're kind of already one. That was Finally too good. Finally be able to use the yeah. face on the back of my head. Yeah. Like, it's it's a frown. Clip on it's some like, new hair. Yeah, it's just the other. <laughs> That's Dude, so what funny. if I did? What if I did just pull this off and it was just clip on hair? And then all of a sudden just I a got. Pop, you yeah, just pop it off. I got a, I got a different oh. haircut next tomorrow. That'd be cool. Mm. I would fuck with that. Yeah. Would you? I'm going to invest in clip on hair, yeah. Yeah, let's no. keep this going. What kind of Lego would you be? <laughs> I don't know, dude. I, here's the thing. I think as far as Lego people are concerned. Oh, we're continuing. Okay. Um, why are the yellow people assumed to be white? That's. It's weird. It's the same way with emojis. Wait. Why, wait. It's the same. Listen to me. Hear me. Shut the fuck up for a second. Hey, hey. hey shut from. your mouth. Shut your mouth. Listen. Okay. We have yellow Lego people, and then we have white Lego people. It's like the Simpsons. And then we have black Lego people. It's like the Simpsons, but there's white Lego people. Why did they make the white ones? If I think the, I think you're just projecting, bro. But it's the same with the emojis. Why do we have the yellow then? Again. If we, they get, already made all the different skin tones. Well, the Didn't you watch Forrest as... Gump? Dude, the whole scene where Forrest is like running and then he gets like all muddy and he grabs a t-shirt and then he wipes his face with a t-shirt. It's a yellow smiley face. The Walmart smiley face? Or oh, I thought smiley? you were gonna say uh, Lego characters are like a box of chocolates. <laughs> well, the original <laughs> smiley face was it was brown because it was all muddy, right? But it was on a yellow T-shirt. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So that's where it came from. <sighs> yeah. The '90s, bro. But then why why continue Ooh. that? Why don't we just? Because change is difficult well, and people don't like it. Well, because they started with the yellow. Well, I and think then... if it was white, it would be problematic. Probably, but people would be like, "Why is it white?" 
Well, I think it was because. But why it, is it yellow? Because they nobody's started, actually yellow. I don't know yellow. if they had the uh, I don't Asian, know. but that that's us saying that, you know. And also, they built the phone, so they should be the ones. And they probably built the Legos too. Oh, oh yeah, they mass they, produced them. They, yeah, they do. What the if Swiss. it's all Chinese the propaganda? Swiss, Swiss, yeah. What if that's why they made the emojis like that? Why? Why they made the emojis like what? Is that yeah. why my Lego characters always have rice in them? <laughs> wow. Oh, this guy's eating the Legos. He's opening up his Legos to look for rice. <laughs> yeah, dude. They fucking... Nobody else eats their Legos? What do you... <laughs> <laughs> like to see if they stay fully like formed to, in I your like digestive to imagine. track. He's just like at home. He's they got do. like Legos on like a dissection table. And he's like, God, rice again! <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. They're all filled with rice. I brought, If you break your Legos open, there's rice inside. I have a friend. She showed me she's been doing... Uh, <laughs> he's so confident. He's so confident. There's rice, dude. I had a friend who's been making Stephen King. They also eat dogs. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Stephen King scenes with Legos. Uh-huh. And uh, she posted up some from it. It was very creative. It was really cool. That's cool. Yeah, Stephen King Lego scenes. Legos are expensive. They are. What was the Stephen King story? It... Yeah, it was a couple of scenes. Oh, from it. he's the clown. Okay, so That's it's cool. like the clown, and then it's like murdering people, and there's red Legos laying around. And Very then, uh, cool. There's a scene where she goes into the house, and there's the witch, and then the tea. And the I don't houses. pay you for a horror movie fan. Oh, a big, big horror really? movie fan. Okay. Yeah, I love, I love, I watch them all year round, but definitely like around starting in uh, September, I start watching horror movies like crazy. I, can, I dude, I, you get really into it, don't you? Yeah, yeah. Dan I go definitely. To houses, I go to love. Was it last year? I went to a haunted cornfield. Mm. I love Halloween. Dan definitely goes to pumpkin farms alone. You know, and he's done it. Yeah, pure bliss. (laughs) Yeah, I would be annoyed. (laughs) I'd be pissed there, and he's just like. I'm like, nice. you smell the animals? Actually, Maybe I'll go pet a goat. <laughs> Maybe I'll get an apple cider donut. Ooh. Okay. Apple cider hey, donuts are hold great, on. okay? They're so good. And also, listen, man, I, I go full, like, basic white girl in the fall, dude. Like, I go to those scary <laughs> orchards, too. Uggs. I put on my Uggs. <laughs> dude, I go straight for those donuts and that hot cider. And then I walk into a cornfield, like, ooh. <laughs> like, I, I'm a big fan of the pumpkin spice, but that's about as far yeah. as I go. Right. I wish I could get pumpkin spice, like, during the spring sometimes. Yeah, that would change. I gotta be oh honest though, God. but then you like Wrong the opinion. you get the it's shamrock the shakes and everything. Huh? What? Shamrock you get the shamrock shakes. shakes? Are great. No, those, those are disgusting. shamrock shakes hold me over. Those are disgusting to you. Yeah, dude, I don't eat like fast food or anything like that. I you just said you'd have apple slater donuts. The fuck are you talking about? Yeah, but like pff, that's because I'm feeling cute that day. Like, I mean, are you kidding me? <laughs> yeah. It's never a legitimate meal. He was feeling thin that day. He had yeah, extra uh, carbs. He yeah, I had my. I was in my calorie deficit era. <laughs> now I'm trying to bulk. By the way, I, I did have one serious question for you. Oh, yeah. What is it like doing stand-up as a teacher? Because I know several people that do it, and they try intentionally not to post any of their shit online. They don't do stuff like this because they like don't want it to get out there or anything. It is so difficult. Um, my students actually found my stuff um, mm. le- the other day. Um, I have a, 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 a tutor in my room. Uh, <clears throat> he's a super nice, super nice guy. Oh, no. Um, and one day I was like teaching at the front of the class and he's just like this huge dude and he thinks he's like he is like quieter but his presence is just large you know mm-hmm. and he like leaned over to me and he goes hey man I heard you're a comedian that's pretty cool and then immediately like 30 kids heard that and were like what and then googled me and it was just like 30 people playing my voice on repeat oh, in a classroom w- nice. which I'm like clout but at what cost um, <laughs> <laughs> like I do great with the 12 to 16 age yeah. yes. <laughs> uh, they actually hate me it's so funny there's like a couple of they're so begrudgingly like admitting that they like me like one one kid was like I heard you do comedy I was like yeah I do and he was like well, tell me you're jokes and i was like no <laughs> i was like right. i was like you just find it online like i don't post bad stuff google me bitch and um he was i i told one joke about uh like smoking weed or whatever and he was like is that true and i was like no dude it's made up and he goes really comedy's made up and i was like yeah dude <laughs> <laughs> yeah well, most of it like, is no, dan, dan has had to do that to me a couple of times i'm like wait so amy really is just out here sucking cocks he's like it's a joke <laughs> yeah <laughs> And I'm like, oh, it's everything like, I say is real. Oh, no, dude. Shit. It's, it's totally like, made like, up. Buckles his pants there? back up. He's yeah. like, oh, okay. Mm. I didn't know totally. we could lie. <laughs> yeah, it's, it, but it is it is difficult because every single name that I use in any of my acts is obviously fake. Oh. Um, and it's all made up. Uh, my favorite fake name is Keontae because um, it's like... That sounds I mean, like a Because it frames a black man? Is that what? Uh, I mean, for a lot of my jokes, yeah. Because like... Okay. I so I teach. That's what you teach. I it? teach all black students for the most part, and 
Um, I By mean, choice? I asked about like, the on God it's just thing. the school demographic. We have, like, uh, on one hand, I could count all the white kids in the school, and then on the other hand, like, all the Hispanic kids. Um, in the so, beginning, did they think you were one of those white students? Uh, no, because, I mean... you look young as fuck. I you do, do look young. They always get confused, because they're like, who, are you sure you're my... Are you, like, a student teacher? You can tell us what to do, are you sure? Yeah, they always... <laughs> but they're, the freshmen are skeptical of me, because they, like... Freshmen don't really know the world yet. Right. Like, they're 14, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? Like, they think they know. And they're like, how old are you? 35? And I'm like, whoa, no, 25. <laughs> mm. And they go, you're 25? Do you got kids? I'm like, no. And they're like, you should fix that. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, well, that is such like a like a fourteen year old view of the world though to be like yeah. by the time I'm twenty five I'm married yeah. with kids. Twenty five was yeah. old when I was that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, because I'm sure you guys remember when you were in high school, like all of your teachers are like adult adults. You know yes. what I mean? With big and tits. there's there's no con. Oh my god, there's no <laughs> concept. Of They're big titty bitches. <laughs> 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 Thank chill, you. Chill, 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 chill. chill. Especially the English teachers. Oh, oh my yeah. god, uh, I have huge honkers, dude. Um, I be, I do be honkers. Double D, David Donner. Double D. Madonna. I'm gonna jump in a bridge. Uh, what a time! <laughs> but yeah, like that's why they all have this like conception that like, oh, you're like an adult in society. They don't know that like young twenties era. Like they have the, yes. to them, that's their yeah. cousins. And then like me and like the other coworkers of mine who are like are ish and like around the same age, right? They're like, why are you guys like? have a job like this you should be like making reps or like making reps or like in college or like mm -hmm. doing something that like that like is people yeah. know are right doing. on the cusp of like oh you're now not a child yes. yeah you're a yeah. full grown adult now this is brain yeah. developed literally but, yeah um so it is difficult um sometimes because i do have that like i actually just had a conversation like a very serious conversation with one of my uh with my like boss essentially um he was like hey i heard you that you're doing this comedy um and that you were wearing like our school's memorabilia mm. in a uh, in something, and I was like, oh, and it was I was at the Laugh Factory. I was wearing like a school sweater, and it was like a random guest spot that I did that I just happened to record right. and clip and put out. And I it was like a year and a half ago that I did it, and I totally forgot about it. Mm. Um, and he was like, yeah, he's like, no hate. It's like not bad or anything, but like just don't be wearing that type of stuff. Right. And I yeah, was like, no, that's absolutely that. true. Because like when you're a teacher, like you represent more than yourself. You know what I mean? As much as that you. Makes sense. Sure. As much as you like to, which you know, I've grappled with it a lot in the last like funny that you asked like three or four months because mm -hmm. I'm like posting more. My clips are like clean and they're good and like I enjoy how they look. They're like obviously I, I wish they got like more traction or anything, but I'm like they look clean. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I'm like now I'm trying to post like cleaner content, right? Mm -hmm. Oh. Like so. not swearing type content? Uh, or what do you mean by that? Not clean? swearing. I never talk about like sex on stage because that's just like not me in the first place. And if I did, I would never like yeah, post that kind of stuff. To talk about I it. never post stuff that is like. <laughs> 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 Jokes. Dunked. Dunked. Um, yeah, that has been the podcast. Yeah. I was going to say, I hate to cut this short. We do. It is 8 p.m. We got to start the open mic. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. That's David Donick, dude, thank you for yeah, being on the pod. No, 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 no problem. Yeah, can you plug everything for, for it? We're going to have yeah, you back dude, on, but can um, you plug everything? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'll, I got a bunch of shows coming up. Um, I'll be at Woody's um, uh, later in April. I got, I'll got. i be on Rose Battle Chicago in May. I'm roasting Kaylee Horton. Please come out. It's going to be awesome. I'm going to destroy fun. her, dude. Um, I'll be at the Laugh Factory um, a couple of times this summer, um, and I'll be I'll be in Ro uh, uh, not Rosemont. Um, Rockford? Uh, oh, my God, no. It's some um, North Norridge. Uh, Norridge. Woodridge. I'll be in Woodridge with Scott Darling um, this week doing um, doing a cool show with some Blackhawks people, so it'll be fun. Very cool. Nice, nice, yep. nice. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Thanks for coming. Yeah, yeah. Good vibes. Good vibes. Thank you. 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 Thank you